Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced slider like all we have here for free and also wonderful carousels as well. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like so, as you can see. This, we're able to achieve this totally for free. And then we can come over here, see other options like this one. When you scroll, you have this effect like this, like this. Okay, this is triggered by scrolling. And then we can also create carousels that look like this, okay? That you can scroll and then you have something like this. And you can also create carousels like this for your hero section, especially if you're using a blog or if you're building a blog website, you can create something like this. You can also use the dynamic features as well to create something as beautiful like so. And also you can use this to create a team member uh, carousel or or portfolio carousel or something like that or even an image carousel you can use this to create it all for free so without further delay let's dive in and get started in our wordpress dashboard what we're going to do we're going to come over here to where we have the plugin and click on the add new plugin then we're going to come over and search for the prime slider plugin now this is the plugin we're talking about by BD Team. So we're just gonna install and activate this plugin. I've already done that. So once you do that, you're gonna have a few uh, option called um, Prime Slider here. So now you just go go straight to the core widgets, and then under the core widget, you're gonna see the various widgets that are available. You can see they have the free and the pro version. But in this case, we're gonna be using the free version. So you just toggle the free version and see the various uh slider widgets that are available for the free version which you can use to build wonderful designs so now i'm going to advise you that in your situation instead of toggling all the various uh slider widgets you have here for the free and make use of them when you do that you only do that to test run the various slider and see which one works for you however once you're done you come back here and on toggle them how to reduce the resource taken being taken up by your server because too much of these widgets that are unnecessary is not really really important to uh, to keep active on your elementor okay so now we're just going to head over to our elementor editing screen so now in our elementor editing screen what we're going to do come over to the search widget here and we're going to search for slider now these are the various slider widgets provided by prime slider as you can see here so now what we're going to do we're just going to select one of them let's say we select this drag on widget and we're going to drag it here now you can see okay this is it so now what you can do here is that you notice that it will not fool the screen it doesn't take up the full screen so to fix that you just come over to the container widget here and then you come over set the content width to full width and then you go to the advanced settings padding you unlink it and then matching you unlink it as well so you now have it full screen like so so we're just going to build this particular slide from scratch as you can see i've already built something like that using this particular slider here so i'm going to walk you through how i was able to achieve that so let's copy this text here first and then let's come over here and let's edit the slider for the prime slide we'll come over here the subtitle we're going to paste that come back here for this text here proudly rooted just going to copy it and then paste it for the title now for the button test we're going to leave it as is and then go to the optional option we're also going to leave it as is which is this text here in your case you can do use it or remove it depending on what you're working on so now for the second item which is the element pack we're just going to come over here to the second page and then allow for this slide to go to the second page here this is the second page here i'm just going to copy this out and then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back here. Uh, you might be experiencing some glitch when you click this tab here. It doesn't open instantly. So if you experience something like that, all you just need to do is to come down here and click on this additional option and then go back here and it will open up for you. It's some kind of glitch that I hope the creators of this slider notice it and fix it. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this out here. And then I'll go back here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, then I'll come over to the third slide, copy this text here, and then come down here to this slide. You can see now I'm clicking this and it's not actually working. So I'll just click this and go back here 
kiki toni kuba pak dena pis tis hia komu ga kopi dis kochara muse kong hia on dena bono pis tis hia yep so now the next i'll do here is i'll just duplicate this one here for the fourth slide and then i copy this out vibrant and then i'll come over here and i'll just paste it okay and then copy this and then i'll paste it like this okay so now the next thing i'll do which i forgot is to add the various images so now we're just going to come over here and add the various images which is here you now select with your media library and then we'll select an image for that select this image and then i'm just going to come over to the second one the ethereal beauty and then i'm going to select this one here then i'll come over to the third one And then I'll select this one, come over to the fourth, which is the vibrant vision, and then I'll select an image for it. This one here. Okay. So now we see, you can see our slider is already coming into form. It already looks beautiful without even doing any special editing to it. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to, uh, come over here to the additional settings. Now this is where you can control the height of your slider if you want to reduce it and then this here is where you can show which option you want to hide or which option you want to leave visible if you want to hide the title you just toggle this and the title will disappear this will disappear however we won't be doing that uh so the next step and the next thing here is uh the show uh title if you want to hide it you can do that or not we won't be doing that and we're just going to leave everything as is here then down here is a social link where you can edit your social link this option here and add your very your link come over to the slide setting you can set it here to auto play auto play or uh by interval you can even add post on over effect animation speed and all that yeah so now let's go to the style option under the style option you can see there are features here that you can add to stylize this and make it re really really beautiful okay like the content width you can reduce the width now come over here to this title and subtitle uh tab here now for the title you can see there is the color and then there is the first word color now what this means is that this color here this text here there are two texts here now you can make one of the text of different color to the other so how do you do that you can come over here now and select this color here and change the color however let's see the color we have. okay this is the color we have here so in order for us to be able to copy this color in my previous video i did a video about the various uh chrome extension that i use to make things easy for me as a designer one of which is the font so now what font is one of them and then when i come over here i just highlight this it's going to tell me the font the font width the font family the style and everything about it, including the color and i can copy the various color codes for it so I just copy the color code, the hex color code, and then I'll come over here for the first word. I'm just going to copy this out and paste it here. Now you can see we now have this wonderful effect here. You can leave it as it is, and then you can also add stroke effect here. So now you come over here for where you have the stroke, and then you can set the stroke size to whatever you want. It could be two, and then you can change the stroke color to be the same color as this text here you have something like that or you can just set it to to be uh different which is the stroke color should be white and then you come back here to this color here and they set this color here to be black and you now have something that looks like this so and also you can also reduce the space between the title heading like this and then increase it now you can check it out, check the responsiveness. You can do the same thing for the various except at the bottom widget, stylize it to suit whatever project you're working on. Okay. So now when you come over here to the tablet to see how it looks on tablet, it looks great on tablet. You can check it out on mobile as well. It also looks great on mobile. You can reduce the font size here for this text to suit the mobile version and then 
however you want. You can just tweak it to suit whatever you want. So that's pretty much it about this wonderful slider effect you can use to build a basic and even advanced slider, depending on how creative you are for your whatever project you're you're working on. Um, we can preview this here and see this is what we've been able to create. So with this plugin, you can be able to create wonderful slides like this, like a slide that looks like this. You can see this one here looks pretty much beautiful. When you scroll, it gives you this wonderful effect like so, as you can see. And then they can also build slider that looks like this, especially if you're building a blog, you can use this particular widget to build a dynamic slider like what you have here, as you can see. Here, you can also build a slider like this still on the blog. So if you have a blog, you can build a slider like this for your blog, which is beautiful. And also you can build something like this and add it on the section as a hero section for your website or even even uh, a particular section on your website for your blog and all that. You can build something like this. And you can build another a product slider like this with this particular slider where you scroll, you have something like this. And you scroll, you have something like this. This is really, really beautiful to use for free without any need of coding or prior knowledge. You just do it uh, depending on your creativities and you have something like this. You can also build something like this for your blog, even for your profile. Slider like this, even for your uh, team member profile and all that, you can build a wonderful slider like this. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.